What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new release of 12.8. So as a lot of you already know, with every release of LaunchBox, there's some fixes, improvements, and some new features. And this one's no different. We've got some really cool stuff here to go over. And like always, if you're interested in checking out the full change log, I'll leave a link for that in the description. You can go over all the new fixes and improvements. But in this video, we're going to be covering a lot of the new features and improvements. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. With this new release of 12.8, downloading images and videos is now substantially faster. It's up to 10 times faster in our testing, and this is due to new optimizations that we've added to 12.8, so you can definitely expect faster downloads when it comes to your media, from videos and images. For these next two, we're actually going to be moving over to a different build of LaunchBox because I've already got this one set up, but uh, with my other build, I want to show you these new MAME import improvements. It's no secret that it's super easy to get MAME up and running with LaunchBox, but we have added added some new options and features to the full set MAME importer. And like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and move over to my other build of LaunchBox. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. For this first MAME improvement, you can now prioritize two and four player games. You can also skip games whether they require a CHD file or not. And you can also skip games by the input type or controller type. So this is actually really awesome if you just want to get down to it and add the games that you're really going to play. We've got more priority options. And the next one here is a new MAME arcade playlist. They're available on import for vertically oriented games and games that require CHD files. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to run through this real quick to do the full set MAME importer. Starting with 12.7, it'll automatically download MAME for us, install it, and configure it. And once we get to the MAME import filter option, you'll notice this looks a bit different. If you've used it before, you'll see the differences here. If you're brand new, we'll kind of go over this real quick. So we've always had the region to prioritize, but now we have the variant to prioritize. Two player or four player, because when it comes down to it, like let's say the Simpsons arcade game, there's a two player version and a four player version, kind of just like Ninja Turtles. So if you know you're not going to be doing four player and you just want that two player version, then you can prioritize it right here. For me personally, when I'm going to play a main game, I usually just choose the two player version. So we've got that new filter here, the variant to prioritize. Next new filter here, skip games that require a CHD file. Now there are a ton of main games that require a CHD file, but there's a lot of great games that don't require it. For most of my personal stuff, like in my cabinets, I stick with the stuff that does not require a CHD file. So this is actually really awesome. We can skip those entirely. That way, if we don't have those CHD files, they're not even going to show up and you don't have to worry about it not working. So we've got those two new options covered. If we hit next, we'll go to the next filter window and we have controller support. So you can skip games that require a spinner, that require a trackball, two joysticks, a light gun, and wheel. So it's really up to you. I mean, you can go in here individually, you can check all, you can uncheck all if you want to import them. It's totally up to you. Another one here is skip games that require more than the following number of buttons. So if you've got a controller that, let's just say, has six buttons on it, from here you can actually choose this. You can go on up. So there are some arcade games that have more than eight buttons. It's really up to you. If you want to skip them, you can do it from here. And finally, for these options, we can automatically create a playlist for vertical games, which is really cool. That way we'll have a section specifically dedicated to vertical games in MAME. And if you've got a vertical cabinet, this is going to come in really, really handy. And just a heads up with these new playlists, if we go back here and uncheck skip games that require CHD files, we'll actually get a new playlist here for games that do require CHD files. So we can now have a separate section for these also. All of these new import filters were very highly rated on our poll, and we're glad to see them here. They're going to work out really well with this awesome MAME importer. And real quick, I wanted to show you a new improvement here for the importer, and we'll also just take a look at the download speed of those images. So if we go to Tools, Import, ROM Files, I'm just going to go with PlayStation 1. So I'll just go with my Sony PlayStation 1 folder. When I choose Next, it's automatically going to try to figure out exactly what platform we're on. So it'll automatically select Sony PlayStation. It takes a look at the name of the folder and games. That way we don't have to use this drop down every time. Now, in some cases, it might not work correctly if it's not named correctly. But I've been messing around with this for the last couple days and it's worked out with everything that I've tried to import. But then again, I usually name my folders correctly. So we've got it there. Really awesome little feature here. Just a time saver so we don't have to do that drop down anymore. We're going to go ahead and import these. And with the image downloader, just check everything. 
And now we'll get a PlayStation section over here in just a second, once it saves those games. And remember, with the new versions of LaunchBox, it downloads the images in the background, and as you see, this is real time. My images are ready to go. I don't have a ton of games here for PlayStation, but it was very quick to get those downloaded. And in the test that we've conducted internally, it's up to 10 times faster than it was with the older versions of LaunchBox. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed 12.8. Like I mentioned, if you want to check out the full change log, link is in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.